Hi, this marks the first official week of training for the 2013-2014 season. If we're talking Breaking Bad, it would be Season 2, Episode 1? Sounds about right. Okay, so I'm going to do general prep for uh, two cycles. This cycle having the theme of work capacity, and it's never my favorite time of year because it hurts. Just finished Saturday. Felt good running. Once you stop, that's when it starts to suck. And lunch wants to escape a little bit. They're hard, but good. Because you put in the work now and it'll pay off later. So that's what I have to keep telling myself. This year is kind of scary for me. It's my first year doing a new format. The uh, ordering of all my training is completely different than what I've ever done in the past with the new format. I don't know how well my understanding of it is. So I'm writing a very intense training program based on my perception of what I learned. <laughs> Which is always kind of freaky because what if my perception is off? Yeah, there's new format, new stuff, new year, a lot of new obstacles. New obstacles would be like, where can I train? Is the treadmill going to be there? Where am I going to do meets? So all this other stuff's kind of out floating around in the world that I need to figure out. And do I have the facilities I need to train? Do I have a wall that will catch my med ball? But if you know anything about me, I'm kind of a nerd. I have it written on my desk. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. If I want exactly what I got last year, then I should do what I did last year. But I want to be better than I was last year, so I need to switch it up. But that's scary, because there's always a chance that it will be worse than last year. I think I'm on the right path. Based on everything I know up until this point, I'm doing everything better. Again, I apologize for this being so short, so I will throw in a couple of random clips I made <laughs> while I was at work for my graduate assistantship at a school I cannot name. too good to go to waste and nobody's looking at them so I used to make these clips and I thought they were hilarious. I'm gonna randomly throw them in throughout the rest of the segment. While I was training my uh, mom decided she wanted to start working out. I've got 14 and 15 left to go. My mom wanted to try the sled. See how this goes. Here's a little thing about my mom. She doesn't work out. <laughs> When's the last time you worked out? Never. She's one of those girls who's like I don't like to sweat. She just comes up to me and goes, Teach me how to run. 25 pounds. Okay. Any trick? <laughs> just run. <laughs> oh, she's going the whole 30 meters. 20. Yeah. She pulled a sled. She pulled it 30 meters. Not bad. Awesome. Also, there's a new team. It's me, Leslie Bross, Sam Sonberg, Jack Samantha, Ben Peterson. They're all pole vaulters except Jack. Come on, Jack. Just gotta do the multi. I gotta do nine other events to show us all up. So, I'm kind of excited for that, because now there's gonna be a team um, who can help each other out. 
um, at meets and with training. And we're gonna get together for most of the pole vault practices, and then every month we're all gonna test together. We live in different parts of the Twin Cities right now, so we can't train every day together, but it's already better than it was last year. So Sean, what are you gonna do about Team Hoot? I don't know yet. I'm still gonna stick with Team Hoot, but at the same time, Steve and Caroline were also saying that Flight Deck Athletic does not have a mascot. And Flight sounds a lot like something an owl does? Just an idea? We don't know yet. We don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, hello. What was your favorite piece of equipment at the Wellness Center? I'd have to say I really like the rock wall. This vlog is pretty short and boring because, like I said, there's a lot of new stuff that I was doing in my training and I didn't know exactly how to film it and what I was doing. Here's the last bit of shenanigans from the summer. Um, we went tubing and we all got hurt. when it was a little too crazy. My mom was driving the boat at like 60 miles an hour and we were on a tube. So every wipeout hurt, but that's kind of how we roll. Uh, Carrie got it the worst. She fell off the tube and belly flopped at 60 miles an hour. And she said she was all right, but I don't believe her because she got out of the water like this. I can't breathe. She won. She got the wipe out of the day. She wins. <laughs> Next week there will be way more stuff because now I kind of know what to film, where to film, and how to film all this new stuff. If you are a pole vault club, a track club, organization, business, I will wear your shirt if you send it to me. It's all my clothes are falling apart. My workout clothes are just dwindling into nothingness. Pretty soon I'll be trying naked and nobody wants to see that. If you want to make these vlogs and you think, hey, Sean look good in one of my shirts that I have for my club. Send it my way. I will wear it. I am a medium. Free advertising! Also, I had a pretty good idea last week. What if you guys send me the videos to my intro? You guys make the intro. I'm not making it mandatory. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying, if you want to make the vlog, give me like 10 second to 30 second clip of you doing something crazy or fun or funny. You will make the intro. It doesn't even have to be funny. You can just tell me, hey Sean, I want to be in your vlog. Do that. And I'll throw you in there. Like always, please subscribe on YouTube. Share these with your friends, family, cousins, uncles, brothers, sisters, girlfriends, boyfriends, pets. Like this vlog, please, on YouTube. That'd be great. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Sean Danger Hoot. Cause Danger's my middle name. You can find all these links in the YouTube description below. If you want some training, if you want me to write your training, I can do that. And I'm not just some random guy who writes training. I have a master's degree in this stuff and a bunch of certifications, so I know what I'm talking about. That is also in the description down below. Anything else? No. Okay, bye.
short skit. 